So, what do you expect from coming in here? I have to be here. No, I, I know you have to be here. I know it's not elective on your part, but now that you are here, what do you want? You want the truth? Value. If you lied, you'd have an easier time getting what you wanted. <laughs> what does that say about what you do for a living, huh? I, I just think we need to have a couple more meetings before we even talk about this picture. Look, 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 look. I'm having panic attacks, all right? The other night I thought I was having a fucking heart attack. I puked in a fucking trash barrel on the way over here. I haven't slept for weeks. Yeah, I told some fucking truth, all right? I want some pills. And what, you close my file? I told him to tell the truth here. If only here. A guy comes in in pain against his instinct of privacy or self-reliance to get help. And what, you don't help him? You what, you send him down the street to get some smack? It's fucking ridiculous. Two fucking pills. Why don't you just give me a bottle of scotch and a handgun so I can blow my fucking head off? You know, you can leave. I'm, I'm fucking done with this psychiatry bullshit anyway. Leave? What, what if that was a legitimate threat, huh? Hot shot? Why is the last patient of the day always the hardest? Because you're bored and you're tired and you don't give a shit. It's not supernatural. No, look, you're not just here because they're going to send you to jail, all right? If you're in distress, I'll help you. What's this? My card. And a prescription for 20 lorazepam. Is it enough to commit suicide? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Have I done my job up to your goddamn standards? Because by my standards, you fit the model of drug-seeking behaviour. All right. And fuck you if you don't like my initial <laughs> clinical reaction. Thank you. I'm going to transfer you to another doctor. Good. <laughs> so, uh, you want to grab a cup of coffee? That's it.